Hello friends, we have come with new video tutorial on LiveUArray, which is full stack framework for Laravel application, and in this video tutorial, we will learn, how to use data tables in Laravel 8 application, using LiveWire. If want to learn, Laravel LiveWire data table, then in this part, you can get the simple solution on, how can we implement data table with live wire framework in Laravel 8 application? In this part, we will use Medicon Systems live wire data tables package, and by using this package class, we will implementing live wire data tables in Laravel 8 framework. So now let's start discussing this topic. So first we want to download latest version of Laravel framework. So we have go to command prompt. And under command prompt, we have go to directory, in which we want to download and install Laravel 8 framework. After this, we have type, composer create project double dash, prefer dash district, Laravel slash Laravel, with live wire data table, command, and run this command. This command will make live wire data table folder, and under that folder it will download Laravel 8 framework. Here we can see download process has been started, and it will download 100 plus class with Laravel 8 framework, which will take some time. After download Laravel framework, we have go to text editor, and here we can see our Laravel framework working folder. So first here we want to make database. So we have open dot environment file, and under this, we have define mysql database configuration like, host is equal to local host, database is equal to testing, username is equal to root, and password with blank value, it will make database connection. After making database connection, next we want to make model class, so we have go to command prompt, and run php artisan make double colon model ld m command this command will make ld model class file in application slash models folder and ld migration file under database slash migrations folder first we have go to database slash migrations folder and open this ld migrations file and here we can see up method and down method so here in up method we have to define table definition so first we want to add name table column so here we have write dollar table variable with string method and under this we have write name next we want to add email table column so we have write dollar table variable with string method and under this we have write email with unique method so it will make email table column with unique data lastly we want to add gender table column so here we have write dollar table variable with string method and under this we have write gender so here our table definition is ready now we have go to command prompt and run php artisan migrate command this command will make LD table in testing MySQL database. So friends in in testing database, we can see LD table with table column like ID, name, email, created at and updated at table column. After this, we want to table for fake data, so we have go to command prompt. And here we have run php artisan migrate, double colon factory ld, so this command will make ld factory class, under this database slash factories folder. 
So, we have opened this ldfactory.php file, and here we can see LD models class already included under this class. Now for generate fake data, we have go to this definition class, and under this, we have write dollar gender variable is equal to dollar this with facker class object with random element method with mala and female argument in array format so it will return random element from this array for male female table column after under this return array statement we have write name key and under value we have write dollar this with facker object with name so it will generate fake name in second key, we have write email, and under value, we have write dollar this, with facker object, with unique method, with safe email variable, this code will generate unique fake email data. And in last key, we have write gender, and in value, we have write dollar gender variable, so this for generate fake gender data. Now we want to run this class, so here in command prompt, we have run php artisan tinker command. This command will allow us to type shell command. So under this shell command, we have run ld class, with factory method, with count method with 100 as argument, with create method. So this command will generate fake 100 data, under this ld table. Now in LD table we can see 100 fake data has been imported under this table. So this way, we can generate fake data for this live wire data table tutorial. Next, we want to install live wire package. So in command prompt, we have run composer require live wire slash live wire command. So this command will download and install live wire package under this Laravel application. After download live wire package, we want to download live wire data tables package. So in command prompt, we have run composer require medi cone systems slash live wire data tables command. This command will download and install all required package for live wire data tables. So here we can see more than 5 package will be download for live wire data tables. So it will takes some times. After download live wire data tables. Now we want to create live write components. So in command prompt. We have run php artisan make. Double colon live wire live wire data tables. So this command will make 2 files like. One in application slash http slash live wire folder with name like live wire data tables dot php file and one at resources slash views slash live wire folder with name like live wire data tables dot blade dot php. First we have go to live wire folder and here we have open live wire data tables dot php file and under this file we have write use statement with application folder slash models folder slash ld so it will use ld models class method under this class same way we have include this string class column class number column class date column class and live wire data table class so we can use method of this all class under this class after this, here we can see live wire data tables extends component class. So here in component, we have write live wire data table. Next, we have comment this code, and below it, we have write public statement, with dollar model is equal to, ld class, so here we have write model class.
Now we want to initialize default live wire data tables. So we have go to resources slash welcome dot blade PHP file and under this file remove this code and paste this code. So here we have used tailwind style sheet class for live wire data tables. For include live wire style sheet here we have write at the rate live wire styles it will add live wire style sheet when page has been load in browser. Same way for include live wire scripts, here at the footer of the page, we have write at the rate live wire scripts, so it will add live wire javascript, when page has been load in browser. After this, here we have write live wire tag, with double colon, and after this, we have write live wire component name, live wire data tables, so it will load default live wire data table in web page. Now, we want to set route, so we have open web.php file, from routes folder. And under this file, from slash character, we have type live wire component name, live wire data tables, so here our route is also set. Lastly, we have go to command prompt, and run php artisan serve command this command will start laravel application and provide us base url friends so here in browser we have type base url slash live wire data tables so on web page we can see data has been load in live wire data tables here we can see data tables feature like pagination number of data load per page and even we can sort table column data but here we can see all table column data has been display on web page but we want to see only id name email gender and created at table column data so we have go to live wire data tables dot php file and here we have make column function Under this function, we have write return statement with array. And in first index, we have write number column class with name method. And under this, we have write table column ID. After this, we have add label method with ID in capital letter. So it will display this on table column header. Next, we have write sort by method, with id table column. Same we want to add name table column, so here we have write column class, with name method, and under this, we have write name, for column label, we have write label method, with name, so this text will be display at column header. Next for display email table column data, so here we have write column class, with name method, and under this, we have write email table column name, and after this, we have write label method, with email address, so this text will be display at column header. After this, for display gender table column data, we have write column class, with name method, and under this, we have write gender, after this, we have write label method, and under this, we have write gender, so this text will be display at gender table column header. Lastly for display created at table column, so we have write date column class, with name method, and under this, we have write created at table column, with label method, and under this, we have write creation date, so this text will be display this table column header. Now we have saved this code, and check output. So friends, we have refreshed web page. After refresh of web page, we can see updated at table column data has been removed, and all table column header title has been changed. Now we want to add search text box at the top of live wire data table. For this, 
we have go to welcome.blade.php file and here in live wire tag we have write searchable attribute is equal to name email and gender table column so it will display search box at the top of data table for search data in name email and gender table column so here first we have refresh web page after refresh of web page here we can see search box has been display at the top of web page now we have type something then according to query it has display result on web page without refresh of web page so here we have add search box in live wire data table next we want to add export this data table data to excel file for this again we have go to welcome.blade.php file and in live wire table and here we have write export able attribute this attribute will make export data button at the header of live wire data table so friends first we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page here we can see that export button has been display at the header of this live wire data table now for export this data we have click on export button after click on export button here we can see that excel file has been downloaded in our computer that means whole data table data has been exported into excel file so here in file we can see that data table data in excel file so in this part we have seen how can we implement live wire data tables in laravel 8 framework with all feature of data tables like pagination sorting operation without refresh of web page after this we have seen how can we display particular table column data on web page and then after we have seen how to add search text box and lastly we have seen how to export live wire data table data to excel file format so this all topics we have covered under this tutorial lastly if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.